Hello! In this video I will compare the two inkjet CIS printers Maxify GX7000 series and Pixma G7000 series I will cover the 10 comparison points in this video and feel free to subscribe, turn on the bell so you won't miss my future uploads about the printers I will start with the color copy speed test. The official print speed specs you can find on the screen. Let's see about the quality and water resistance on the plain paper. Maxify has pigment inks and all four pigment inks are water resistant, while Pixma has only pigment black. So only black is water resistant. The color ink has reacted with the water. The Maxify inks are very dense compared to the Pixma dye inks. Next I compare the capacity and ink bottles. In both you find thousands of pages of ink capacity out of the box. In the upper right corner of the screen you can find the playlist of my unboxing videos on printers. Maxify ink bottle has a mechanical ID, so you can put only the correct color into the ink tank. The Pixma bottle doesn't have the mechanical ID, so you need to be more careful when filling up the printer. Let's see about the media. Maxify GX7000 has two paper cassettes and also the feeder at the back. And Pixma has one paper cassette and feeder at the back. So there is difference in the plain paper capacity. For scanning there is automatic document feeder on both, but only Maxify supports two-sided originals for scanning or copying. Let's see user menu. On Maxify you can rearrange menu icons and you can create some profiles. There is a nice combination of the touch display with the key buttons for home, back, stop and start. When paper is set you need to confirm the format and the type.
on the Pixma the experience is less user friendly. When I put the paper into the rear tray I have to select the correct media on the two line not illuminated mono LCD display. But both are supporting different types of media including the creative media such as magnetic, restickable or iron-on transfers for which you can find the link in the upper right corner of the screen. They both support Canon Print Inkjet Selfie app from which you can print photos, documents and access many other functions. Maxify can only print bordered photos and the quality is ok. On the Pixma you can print borderless in many different formats. So Maxify GX series is a small office printer, while Pixma is a home office device with photo borderless printing possibilities. From physical connections, let's see what do the printers offer from the back side. They are both 4-in-1, so you find USB, Ethernet and telephone connections. Finally, what other office practical features do they offer? Only Maxify offers the advanced scanning features, like scan to email, scan to folder, scan and print from USB memory, and several scan to cloud possibilities. These are the features that are not supported in the Pixma. It only has basic operational panel and some copy scan fax setup functions. There are some templates that you can print on both but Maxify supports also web template print. To find more about Pixma business features details check my video in the upper right corner of the screen. For use from the smart devices both models support typical Canon apps like Canon Print Inkjet Selfie App, Easy Photo Print Editor, Creative Park and Mobile Printing and Scanning, like Mopria or AirPrint. So not much difference, but there is more about the maintenance. The maintenance menu on both is similar. Maxify is missing print head replacement option, but the print head can be replaced by user, as well as maintenance cartridge, which is a consumable part on Maxify only. While on Pixma, you need to take the device to the service to replace the ink absorber. More Maxify details have been covered in my other videos. See the link in the description or touch the right up corner of the screen. And that would be all in this video. You can find more about G, GM or GX series printers in the playlists on my channel and I recommend to get into the most out of your printer where you will find all about the functionalities 
connectivity and other features of your printer. Feel free to comment, ask questions and don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell so you won't miss my future uploads. Thank you for watching and sharing. Bye.